So, CV antennas on bunchers are a really high wear item I found. And so I did, I just thought about that when I was talking about the CV. And I wanted to point this one out because I, I have to say, I am really happy with this. Um, so, as you can see, it's mounted underneath the boom, comes out at an angle. <clears throat> you can bring, it doesn't, there's no conflict, you know, um, with the stick. And I've got it mounted on a uh, <clears throat> heavy spring. And what I did was I used one of the uh, bolts for uh, the steel lines underneath the uh, boom as a mount. So it's just a single bolt. And I had some 304 stainless, heavy stainless at home. I, I think it was like 316. So it's a pretty heavy piece. And um, so just a couple holes drilled in that and bent to a specific angle. <clears throat> and then I was able to run the coax out of the, out of the back of the cab, down and through and up. And it's really well protected. And uh, you know, I have to say that this this on this job, the spring finally gave up the ghost and the antenna fell off. And I felt kind of bad because a guy was calling to me, um, I think another operator, and, and I, I didn't realize that the CB was receiving, but I wasn't getting out. So he probably thought I was being snooty. But uh, the spring just finally gave up the ghost and just broke off and fell off. But that was over three years old. And, uh, you know... So it's the best mount in terms of protection that I've ever had on any buncher. I'm pretty proud of it, really. Pretty happy with it. It's, it's super rugged and has held up really well. The rooting underneath the boom, I, I got kind of a high dollar coax and loomed it all the way. I've got a big loop underneath the base of the boom, so there's, there's no stress on it as it moves. And it's really held up well. And just like any other, you know, forest machine, you know, or kind of, you know, less than ideal mount. With this, you really aren't, you know, you're not going to skip go over to Georgia and talk to somebody down there, but that's really not what I'm interested in here. So, but yeah, that wor that's worked out really well. And you can kind of see my fire tools. I got zip tied to steel lines. Those are also three and a half years old. And one of the things I really like about them, they're an OSHA requirement in the Northwest. Um, one of the things I really like about that, that's one of those tools that you, know, you have to have. And in all the outfits I've worked for, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of dollars of these tools get wasted, you know, getting lost or broken or stolen or thrown over the bank or whatever, or even just like worn out from weather. You know? So these are in really good shape. They're dry, you know, that they don't rust. They don't, the handles don't get worn out from the weather. And they actually are there, you know. Um, I personally can't imagine wanting to use a shovel when I've got a bunch to work with, but hey, you got to have it. So that's worked out really well too. too. So uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, that's it on that.